on digital radio and 1089 and 1053 AM Talk Sport. We always have on a Monday. Uh, we ask you to pick the guest. This is new for Colin Murray and friends. Last week, we reunited Jossie's Giants. That was real triumph. And this week, internet virals was what you wanted. Uh, football fans who'd be made stars thanks to the information superhighway. There was two of them. There was Andy Tate, the Manchester United fan. Gigs, eh? Moyes, eh? Uh, but he's a wee bit camera shy and uh, we sent one of our listeners around his house, believe it or not, and he said, I'd respectfully, I'd rather not come on. No problem. The other one, of course, uh, was a wheel stone raider, uh, Gordon Hill, who, if anything, over the last two weeks, the star's risen even further. Forget the millions of YouTube hits. He could now be Christmas number one. And Gordon joins us now. Good morning to you. Morning. You all right? Yeah, you? Yeah, good. What are you up to today? Uh, just come back from the cab in Bristol. Right, we doing a wee, what are you doing there? Uh, PA, uh, just meeting and greeting. Last night? Yeah. Now, if you're, if you're say, Richard Wilson, your guy off one foot in the grave, right? Yeah. He has to get used to the fact, no matter where he goes, he's going to have to say, I don't believe it. Yeah. Are you having to say all the time you got no fans? Yeah, you want some, you got no fans. I'm saying it in my shape now, I think. <laughs> you got a tattoo of it yet? No, not yet. Someone right. else has. Have they? Yeah, I've seen it on uh, Facebook. What's the strangest thing so far that's made you think, really? Like, because there's been banners at Dutch football matches. That's also. the one. That's the one. The banner at Dutch football match. And you think, well, how the world did that happen? They painted that himself. Yeah. I watched a little interview with you. Um, because the original thing, for those people that don't know, because there may be three people in the world who haven't seen it, <laughs> um, he's at a game, he's a fervent Wheelstone fan, arriving in Premier League, and they're playing Whitehawk, right? They're away... Finished one all, by the way. No one ever talks about that. And the fans kind of needling you a bit. He's like, the Hawks are playing well, aren't they? And you've had a few too many. Yeah, but I was getting abuse for about 20 minutes before then from the same people. Yeah, just whining you up, whining you up. Yeah. And you snapped. Yeah, anybody would. And it's interesting, because you've turned out from something that I, I watched an interview with you. You were saying, well, I snapped and people snap, so fair enough. Yeah. But, yeah, well, but you were a little embarrassed by the clip originally. Yeah, definitely. And you thought, well, that's not me. No, it ain't me. Yeah. But you've taken it, haven't you? And you've turned it around in this thing that's raising thousands of pounds for charity. Hopefully, yeah. So Hopefully. tell us what the latest with the single. Uh, I haven't really checked. I think I was number three in the iPhone, iTunes charts. And uh, I think it's number 12 or 13 in the uh, national charts. The latest is it is pushing for the top 10, the proper top 10. In the iTunes, it's nearly in the, it's in the top three as it stands now. We'll play a little, little bit of it after the break or so. Thank How you. are you handling it, though? How are you handling all this acclaim? Oh, I just don't believe it, mate. I keep thinking I'm going to wake up and it's all a dream. Is it affecting your football viewing? Not really, no. Yeah, it is. It does. I went to two matches... The half tap the reach, and I haven't actually seen the match. I've yeah. just had photo draft taken and interviews. So, so have you gone corporate now then? Because you're famous, do you get free tickets? Nah, I still like to pay, and still like to sit, sit stand there with me mates. Yeah. Here's a funny thing, on the, and, and people who aren't football probably don't understand this. I'm 58 years old, right, and hopefully have you know had a bit of a career and done a little bit of television. But I was coming out from, from we, we were playing Hartlepool, and I was with my son, and my son at the time would have been 17. And as we were walking out, someone across the road shouted to me, Yeah, hey, mate, you're rubbish, your team's rubbish. And I started, instinctively, I started off to cross the road, and my son said, Dad, Dad, you're 50, you're 50 just come back here. What, what, what were you, what were you going to do then? And I thought, I don't know what I was going to do, but I was going to do something. Yeah. 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 And and you think you because you get in the zone, don't you? You yeah. do yeah. get in the zone. It becomes very personal. It's passionate, isn't it? It's yeah. passionate. So it's 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 like people insulting you. If they insult the football team, they're insulting yes. you personally. People yeah. people who don't understand it. It's when people talk about uh, standing a seat in a football ground. I think you know what? We're better off seated because. We're better off because if you have to stand up, then you have a second to think. Yeah. If you're already standing up, <laughs> you're a second closer yeah. to yeah. just moving. Um, it's, 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 is this the it's for, for you at the moment um, uh, in terms of uh, raising money? I love the fact that quite early on you cottoned on that you could do this because you charged for photographs, didn't you? In the pub, but yeah, people wanted to photograph. I just said put a couple of pounds in a charity box. So I don't want money for myself. Yeah. What's your point? How much uh, money did you raise just from the photos? Oh, I have no idea. It's been a fifteen, about ten, about ten thousand pounds so far. And what are you giving the money to? Any charity that's to, uh, Jordan living with ta uh, Yeah. Uh, Hope for Heroes. Yeah. 
Uh, mostly children's charities. Good Ormond Streets. Great Ormond Streets. You could as well, which is uh, yeah. good. And uh, now this push for Christmas number one. Now, is there a Christmas Top of the Pops this year? Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't watch it, so I'm not too sure. I think it's been uh, taken off air now, isn't it? That's a shame. Would you have done it? If there is an, if there's an opportunity for you to perform this live, will you do it? Yeah. <laughs> sure it should be in here we could have commented that on Christmas Eve I'm pretty sure if you're going to be number one we do a live performance we could get the band in here can we Gordon? yeah I think so <laughs> with a load of Wils- your mates a load of Wilson fans Bob yeah, Scarves yeah, Rattles yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely so why do you think people find it so funny? I don't know I, I mean I, I'm embarrassed about it so uh, I don't know just, that's something you'd have to ask the other people I, yeah. I don't understand it but, but, do you know what I think it's because Although you've had a few and you don't, you want some, you've got some, you want want me, yeah. but it's because you're not intimidating in any way. No, you're not form. an intimidating person. Exactly. Because you're, 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 you're diminutive. Yeah. 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 So I think no one found you intimidating, so that's why it looks on there that it's really funny. I think the British people are like the underdog, and I was being bullied by about two people with their shit's foot, and I defended myself, and I think the British people are like that. Yeah. yeah. Do you say, do you want to deal with me? What is it, the thing you said at the end? Do you want I'll to just, deal I, with me? Is that I, it? Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just fed up with listening to them giving me abuse for 20 minutes. I, I think anybody would have. Yeah. So, it's not nice when someone's abusing you for the way you look or the way you speak. So, If I give you two pounds, will you record for me now? We'll all be quiet because I want to pass it on to him today. Yeah. Will you record for me the following? Adrian Durham, you've got no fans. Do you want some, Adrian? I'll give it you. I'll say that for nothing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, off you go. Though. Adrian and Durham, you've got no fans. If you want some, I'll give it to you. Love it. We're back with the Wheel of Stone here in a couple of minutes. On digital radio and 1089 and 1053 AM, Talk Sport. Here we are. 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 79p? That's all it's going to cost you. So go on to iTunes and other places where you can download records. It costs you 79p and it could be Christmas number one. It's raising thousands of pounds for charity uh, already as it stands at the moment. And also, and I've been sent a clip which is very, very good. Gordon, have you watched the Barnsley fans? Uh, I haven't had a chance yet, but I've been told about it. It's supposed to be surreal, so... Absolutely sensational. I think it's an away game, and they're all going crazy, and they've got their own version, and it's it's just so good. It's so good that you have, you have to have a look at this. I think, I think they're away at Walsall. So, how has it changed... If you can just get your move in a little bit. How has it changed your life? Because you've raised lots of money for charity, but, but also, I mean, you're doing appearances at... Uh, you're doing appearances at nightclubs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... It's just surreal. I don't believe it's happening, really, so... I'm just a builder. Uh, three weeks ago, I was on the one end of a travel. Now I'm doing nightclubs. I've got a chance to be number one. And I can make a lot of money for charity, mm. which which has got to be good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, are you... Straightforward question. You give me a straightforward answer. Are you doing Celebrity Big Brother in January? Uh, I've had the interview, and they haven't turned me down, but they haven't invited me, so... If I get in, if I get the invite, I will do it. Mm-hmm. I'm more interested in um, what's your next record because you don't want to be a one-hit wonder, do you? I don't you know. know. You've got to have a, a follow-up. Do you want some more? Do you want some more? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. One. Yeah, do you want course. some again? Uh, I'll just get over this one because the last couple of weeks have just been so real. It's just been hectic. I'm really tired from walking and running around doing the single, the video, and trying to earn a couple of pennies myself in the nightclubs. But I'm doing a lot. More of money myself from the night club money running around trying to promote this record mm. so it's not me not about me earning money it's about promoting this record giving it to Great Ormond Street a hospital autistic children getting the kids off the street and getting them into football trying to get the new Vinnie Jones Stuart Pearce Jamone Beckford and all the others Ian White came from non-league football and there might be a person out there a little kid out there that wants to come and wants to play football get them off the streets, get them into the football field and give them a life. Let them get, hopefully get forward. Um, Harry, uh, Harry Judd from McFly's rang up. Are they called McBusted now? McBusted. McBusted, yeah. yeah. He's rang up. He wants you to tell him he's got no fans. Would you mind? He's got no fans anyway. He doesn't have to tell me. I don't have to tell him. <laughs> so can you say, Harry Judd, you got no fans anyway? Harry Judd, you've got no fans anyway, mate. So. <laughs> Good man. So Weedstone FC have been right behind us as well, haven't they? And they're way past City this weekend. So in all this madness, do you get to go? I will be, yeah, I will be. 
we'll definitely be going Saturday. Okay. Could we send this appeal out on behalf of Gordon? Right, so it's away at work, Bath City, right? Lovely place. F- when the game kicks off and for the whole game, yeah. apart from half time, before half time, after, fine. During the actual play, could we let Gordon watch the game? I don't mind if people come up to me and I throw it off. I, 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 think, it's, I think it's nice. Do you, I think. you don't want to watch it, though, and maybe come up with more insults for the next single? No, 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 I think I'll leave that to someone else. Are you done with the... Is that it now? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you think now the new Gordon L, if he's wind up for 20 minutes, won't react? I definitely not. I'll, I'll, even if I have to put a zip around my mouth, I'll, I'm not doing that again. Does that, <laughs> that mean that Gordon Hill won't be in the bar before the kick-off? I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> 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 uh, the song is available um, for uh, on iTunes for seventy nine p. Um, it's uh, uh, it's uh, but as I say, you don't need to sell that many these days. You know, comparatively to the old Christmas number ones. The problem is they changed the rules recently. If uh, you know why everyone downloads, uh, say, Fairy Tale in New York, it gets back in the charts. Never used to. But it's a silly rule change. So when people download the Christmas party list. They can all re-enter the charts, which is why we get clogged up with all the nonsense every year, which is a shame. Otherwise, it'd be guaranteed, I think, top three. But who knows? If, it, if people keep banning as it is, then it could get X Factor off number one. Uh, now, you have until 2 p.m. on Sunday. That's the rule. So if you don't bat before 2 p.m. on Sunday, then there's no point doing it after that. You've got no fans, you know? So if you want some, you've got to give it to you before 2 p.m. Yeah, on Sunday, yeah, right? Definitely, definitely. You Listen, Gordon, it was very nice to, to talk to you. We'll play a little bit of more, more record into the break. And, uh, yeah, thanks for coming in. I know it was short notice, but the listeners picked you as a guest. Thank you, listeners. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you and good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. There you go. Thank the Wayne Stone Raider for Christmas number one. That'll be up to you. On digital radio and 1089 and 1053 AM, Talk Sport. I'll give it you. If you want some, 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 I'll give